right? There's no time to lose. I've got to save this little lady. All right, so what to do? I can't have her leave. That guy could run into her. Or she could be picked up by somebody outside. Well, the best bet is to try and get her to hide. But where? She won't fit in one of the cupboards. So I suppose the best place to have her hide is underneath the sofa. I don't see anywhere else. Okay, but how to get her under there? All right, here she comes. She's coming over here. I need to get rid of those headphones and fast. If she has those on, she won't be able to hear a missile. And she won't hear the guy coming in. Oops, oops! There we go! Here's hoping she didn't have any fish. Oh no! Darn! How did I manage to do that? Lynn just bought those headphones too. How about if we tell her you did it, Missile? <laughs> Roger that! Darn! Now I can't even listen to music either. I think the gods are playing tricks on me tonight. Forgive me, Miss Camilla! I'm only doing it to save you! So what? Now you think you're one of the gods, eh? Huh? No! Never mind that! The important thing is, we managed to change the situation! That's true. At least now we can use the little lady's ears to help us. All right, how to get her underneath the sofa. She needs to be distracted by something to go under there, a reason. Wait, the donuts. Well, you're looking at type 2 diabetes in your future, kiddo. And pulled away from him abruptly. No! She said Wait, loudly, the almost in tears. The red. If I could get his attention underneath the bed. I'm sorry, he replied. Would she go Anne after the furious. donut if I Nothing ever bed? goes right! Nah, too gross. Why would she go after a dirty donut like that? I'm playing distraction! <laughs> come on, come on! Shut up! Jeez. What's going on with this today? Alright, I'm attached to that. Wait, the music box. Did that get her attention? I need to get up there. I have to go now. My power cells have recharged. Charged, said Goku. Come on, come on. The music box. Get to the... Anne was in tears No, now. get to the damn music box, <laughs> damn you. interrupting this? Shut up! There. Missile, no! <sighs> here. Is there something wrong? What are you doing under here, you silly boy? Oh, my little missile. You're always doing the cutest things. There, she's safe. She's underneath the sofa. <gasps> missile, shush. Huh? Uh. Nobody's here, huh? My prey's bound to come home sometime. Might as well make myself comfortable in the meanwhile. Man, I am so evil, you know that? Damn! The little lady's fate has been averted. It has? The poor thing's still curled up in a ball and shaking with fear! Well, yeah, that's true. But that's not so bad in the scheme of things. I'd say she's just fine. And look, you're not dead. Oh, you're right! We did it! We did it, didn't we? We did it! Well, to be precise, you're the one who did it. Huh? Me? I saved Miss Camilla? Yep. You're the one who led her under the sofa, right? Go on. You protected your mistress. I can attest to that. Oh! Oh, thank you! Can I ask a question? Sure. What is it? What exactly are those strange powers of yours? Oh, you mean my ghost tricks? Apparently they're the power to manipulate inanimate objects. Well, if they're ghost tricks, then I can do them too? I'm dead too, after all. I, I guess that's how it goes, right? I've been staring at those donuts as hard as I could for a long time now, but they just won't budge for me. Why do you suppose that is? 
don't really know. I guess you just don't have that power. Well, I have one thing to say to that! That's not fair! Yeah, well, life's a bitch, and then you die. Oh, wait, you're already dead. So, eh <laughs> So, what's gonna happen to me now? Nothing, really. Your death has been erased. You'll just go back to being a happy little dog, living your everyday life. I guess this means goodbye. But, we'll meet again sometime, right? Yeah, maybe, if you die again. What you did for me tonight, I'll never forget it! <laughs> well, I guess we'd better be getting back to the present. Time to see what happens next in our story. present is born. The little lady is still curled up in a ball and shaking with fear, and the little doggy is wagging his tail happily. So what am I going to do now? I think I'll watch for a while and see what happens. Ah, uh, 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 jeez, who'll be calling at this hour, I wonder? What? Still at the junkyard. Ugh, got it. I'm on my way. <laughs> I guess my prey likes to play a little hide and seek. Apparently, she hasn't had enough of that junkyard. I can't let nearsighted Jigo beat me out on this one. I'd better hurry. Guy needs glasses, I tell you. But they look stupid, he says. <laughs> play. <sighs> What was that all about? You saved me, didn't you, Missile? I just know you did! <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't answer it. Um. Hello? Lynn! Crap, she's still at the junkyard. I need to hear what's going on. that little doggy all curled up on the floor. Looking as adorable as hell. Dreaming away the life we worked so hard to get back to. That's fine, but what's up with that core? The dead can't possess living creatures. That's one of the rules Mr. Desklamp taught me. So what would a living and breathing doggy be doing with a core? So I'd better try possessing him and see. Well, we ran into each other again, then. This is a good chance for us to reintroduce ourselves to each other. You mean you forgot my name already? After everything we shared together? The drama? That tearful goodbye? I miss all! But you know... It's strange. I wonder why you remember me now that you're alive again. Do you remember your time being dead? Of course! All of it! Okay, let me get this straight. The memory of being dead doesn't disappear. And the dead I meet in the ghost world develop a core when they return to the land of the living. And if I then possess that core, I can talk to that person! It looks that way, yes! Alright, enough dilly-dally. I need to check on Link. Thank goodness you're okay. Well, I don't know if I'm okay exactly. You won't believe what just happened. Listen to me. You've got to get out of there right now. But what about dinner? I was thinking about spaghetti tonight. I won't be going back there for a while. And you might be in danger if you stay there too. But I already was in danger just a little while ago. Meet me at the restaurant, the chicken kitchen on Dead End Drive. Dead End Drive? I don't know. That's pretty far. Just hurry, okay? Oh, and one more thing. Bring the music box with you, okay? Music box? I love music boxes! Is it a present for me? I'm sorry, but it doesn't play. I can't even get the lid open. Then you can't very well call it a music box, then, can you? 
More to like just a box. Just bring it, okay, smartass? It's kind of big and it's made out of wood. Okay, I will. Where is it? I kind of hid it in that room you're in. Excuse me. Ah! Lynn? Oh. oh. Oh, not again. Darn, now I've dropped the phone in there, too. How about if we tell her you did it, Missile? Anything for <laughs> you! But I sure hope Lynn's all right. I'd better get going. I know right where Dead End Drive is. But... I never saw any music box around here. Where am I supposed to find it? Do you know where it is, Missile? No idea! Help me look, okay? Okay! I bet it's in the drawer. Crap! I can't use that phone anymore. Oh, uh, nope. Maybe over here? I'll find some other way of getting back to Lynn. All right, let's check around, see if she's got any other phones around. Does this do anything? What? Oh, it just gets her attention. It just keeps doing that. What good is that gonna do? I don't... Wait a second. This is it! The music box! Yippee! Oh. I'll leave the remote here. But don't you touch it, Missile. If the TV comes on, you'll start barking. I'd hate to find you flattened underneath that wall when I come home. But what is there besides barking? Okay, I'm leaving now, Missile. I have to go help Lynn. She's like a sister to me, you know? You be good while I'm away, and no barking. I will respond by barking! Still no peace for the little lady. And the redhead Lynn is facing a new crisis right now as well. Meanwhile, I'm in a bit of a pickle of my own. With the receiver at the bottom of the fish tank, I find myself still trapped in this apartment. Too bad I can't just go up and go to sleep with my tail wagon too. Because there is something I must do. The question is, how do I go about getting out of here? Once again, Lynn is in danger, and I think she knows it, too. I sincerely doubt she'll be coming back to this apartment tonight. She and I are connected to each other somehow. She's my only lead, and I can't lose her. I have to get to her, and fast. I have to get to her, and fast. All right, now what to do? Wait. There's that lady next door. Maybe she can help me somehow. Forgive me for breaking my vow, Miss Camilla! I just love barking! Uh, I'll knock this wall down! Uh, uh, uh. If you keep that racket up, I'll bring this whole dilapidated building down on you! Did you hear what I just heard? I mean, other than the sound of a whale breaching. You mean the lady next door's angry howl? No, forget that. It was the sound of a telephone ringing, coming from the apartment next door. Oh, I get it. You're thinking about borrowing her telephone, aren't you? But how are you going to do that without breaking the wall down? Well, the lady next door is kindly offering to do it for us. Yes, but she's mostly hoping to crush me underneath it. You poor little baby. I'll never let anybody crush you. We need to get her attention. We need to make a lot of noise. Oh my gosh, there's so much to bark at! What am I supposed to do? Hmm. I'll pound this wall open! Hmm. <laughs> 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 I told you, didn't I? I told you I would knock the wall down on you! 
letting you off easy this time. Like to have a wall knocked down on you, huh? It's more like she knocked you out through the wall, really. I'm still alive, aren't I? You are, but the TV and the star on them are not. I'll never bark again, not as long as I live! But wait a minute. It looks like all that commotion wasn't for naught. Your barking made her create a path for me. It did? But the wall is still standing just like before. But there are paths only the dead can see. Oh, those kinds of paths! There we go. Now that's what I call progress. So you're leaving, huh? I guess so. You're gonna go save Miss Camilla and Miss Lynn? Follow my own mystery, first and foremost. That means everything to me. But you will save them, right? If it helps me along my way, then yes. I don't have any powers of the dead. I'm not even dead, actually. But I'm gonna find a way to go help Miss Camilla, too! We create our own paths, right, Missile? That's right! Okay, I'm leaving now. Guess this is our second goodbye. It is, isn't it? My name is Sissel. If we ever meet again, that's what you can call me. Sissel, huh? Got it! You know what, Sissel? I'm gonna create my own path, just like you said! Alright, here I go! Forging my path to destiny! Don't! Oh, okay, uh, that one did count! Sissel, Sissel, you watching this action go! Tonight is that holiest of all nights. My deadline. All I need to get inspiration from the muses is this bottle and some cheese. Here is to the boorish people next door. <clears throat> Phew! Phew! Are you all right, my darling angel? Have you taken your medicine like a good girl? Well, here I am, and yet another strange robe. This would be a hardly tense air at this place anyway. Now, where is that little treasure I'm looking for? There it is, the telephone. Now, if I can just borrow it, I can go help Lynn. Now to work! <sighs> A writer's life for me. Let's do a project. project.